All right, so here we are with the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion, the 15 inch model. And a question has come up uh, from myself and other folks is can you upgrade the RAM? If you look at the settings, we type in memory or view RAM info. It shows us as having eight gigs of usable RAM. Uh, someone on Reddit posted and on my uh, comments posted that if you look at Task Manager and then go to Performance and then click on Memory, it shows one of two slots used. Uh, so that had that person thinking that you could bump it up to 16 gigs. And if you look, if you look at the Hong Kong variant for the 15 inch version, now there's an i5 version. There is an i7 version with 16 gigs. There's two different versions with 16 gigs. Uh, I don't know what the difference between those two are. Either way, they are there. I think one of them has the... Alright, so the X01, if you look at its specs, you can see it has the MX250 graphics card. Now, that's not a discrete. That's built in, so you'd have a different motherboard. So that one makes sense that it would be a different configuration. However, if you look at the KC02... It has the i7, which I believe is the same one this one has, and the Intel UHD graphics card, and somehow still has 16. So we're quite a conundrum. And then let's say you want to go to, normally you could just go to a website and look for Crucial, and I've done this before and it doesn't find it. No, it isn't new, so you can see this too, because I've installed it a couple times. Uh, so this is going to run a scan of your system. And the past two times I've run it, it did not find the update. Yeah, so this is a little embarrassing. No system match was found. So it doesn't know the system. Uh, that may be because it's brand new, or I don't know. I don't have any answer for that. Either way, there's only one other way I know to find out, and that's to turn it off, and I'm going to crack it open. So we're going to shut it down, and we're going to flip it open, and we should be able to peel these little feet off, and there should be some screws underneath. All right, so I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to use, like, a car audio tool. But these should just pull up. Maybe you your finger now. Yeah, so it just pops right off. And in there is a little tiny Phillips. I believe these are all the same, so it should be fine. Alright, and then we should be able to just undo these little screws here. Now right, that is quite tiny. So I have this little screwdriver kit from when I took apart my Nintendo Switch. I believe that should be small enough. Those are pretty tiny. That's doing the trick. So yeah, if I cannot upgrade the 16 gigs, I plan on returning it. So hopefully I don't break it in some capacity that I can't return it. But it was sold to me under the guise that I could upgrade it. At least when I asked the chat person before I ordered it. And they said I could. Alright, so we got that off. And it does not appear to just pop right off. I should clarify, I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, so don't necessarily follow my methods. All right, I did get some popping here. So I will still use this guy. Alright, so I'm going to cut a lot of that out. And it did not come off super easy. It has these little clip things here, and I kind of pried and popped it. and It felt like it was going to break the whole time, but hopefully it didn't. Obviously, this is the battery. This would be the hard drive, I assume. And I don't know where the RAM is, but it doesn't appear like anything on here is upgradable. At least it doesn't look like any kind of standard RAM that I would see. Uh, I'm gonna call someone to double check, but I'm pretty sure you cannot up, like you can add an extra hard drive here or SSD. This is the Wi-Fi module, but unless I'm missing something, I don't I don't know what the RAM is. Yeah, so let me double check with someone, and then I'll come right back. The best guess I can see is it's gonna be under here, so I'm gonna take this off 
Alright, so like this is the RAM that would go into my Chrome box. So it's about the size of that. I assume this is going to be where it is. So the only way to get that there is to, there's a screw here and a screw here, so we're going to take that off. Well, now I don't know, because it looks like a slot. All right, so I actually have some pretty exciting news. Once I took this guy off, it had this hole here, right? And at first I didn't, I don't know, I wouldn't pay attention, I don't know. Uh, but you can see it says DDR4 only. This RAM that I had for my Chromebox is DDR4, 8 gigabytes. You can see these little guys here, they got a notch in the side there. So this is that same. 8 gigabyte from Crucial. I got this from Amazon. I got a 16 pack. I might have to order another 8 for the Chromebox, I guess. Uh, you can see Crucial, blah, 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 blah. Now, the other, there's only one slot available, so the one inside there, uh, you can't get the exact same model, I guess, but this should work. So you gotta slot that in there. Let it kind of sit, and then when you push it down, so... Here, click. So there we are. So now I'm gonna get this back together because it doesn't matter for you. This thing is. I did not pay attention to that makes a difference or not. Seems a bit better that way. So let me slap it back together and then we'll make a video. I'll boot it back up and we'll check the RAM. Get some power in there, see if we can fry anything that's going on. I did dent the bottom a little bit, but that's more because my method is brute force instead of finesse. Let's do a little task manager. And we'll go to performance and memory. And there we go. We have 16 gigs. Uh, pretty great. I did not think that was going to work. I thought I was just going to fuck up my device. But instead, I got it working, and I'm the best. So no, shout out to the dude on Reddit that sent me the message, or else I never would have checked it. And I guess in your face to Tony and Mark, who told me that was not correct when that guy said that. So fuck you, Tony, and fuck you, Mark. All right, so yeah, I'll put a link to this one here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably keep this device in, because I was looking at getting the Yoga. The Yoga's a 14-inch has a better screen, you can get 4K, but it's also like $600 more than what I'm paying for this guy. It also has the Intel Iris, but uh, I think I'll be okay the way it is. But 16 gigs is pretty stellar for RAM on this guy. And then, let me just show you the damage I did. So I did bend it here. Uh, I guess I could take it apart and fix it, maybe, I don't know. And there was like a little lip here that kind of damp. That's more just me being dumb. I think you can probably do this on your own and not cause those kind of problems. I was just pulling shit apart, which is probably not the best way to do it. But either way, uh, it is working now. This is a very light, light laptop, so I'm pretty happy that I got it up to the 16 gigs of RAM now. I was really, I'd already canceled my, I already hit the return option on this one. I might cancel that return, I guess, because I think I want to keep it now. And then... Uh, I'll show a screenshot here. There's an extra slot for memory, so if I want to crack that back open, I can expand the memory up to, I guess, a terabyte or storage. Yeah, so there's 512 in there. You can add another one, get up to a terabyte. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty stellar. Uh, that's gonna be some like yeah, like I said, I was trying to make the yoga today, and that was gonna be sixteen hundred dollars, I think. And with my trade in, I might I might have thousands on here, and the RAM is like I don't know, fifty bucks or something. So. Uh, yeah, I might keep this guy now, so I don't think it's worth an extra $600 just for the Iris Plus graphics card and the... Alright, anyhow, yeah, so that's where we are. Now I got some decisions to make. Like I said, I was ready to return it because I was up, I was kind of annoyed about the RAM, but now I have that. I'm pretty happy. And I can upgrade the storage too. It's the only... And, you know, in theory I could put an eGPU in here because this is Thunderbolt. So I do like having the full-size HDMI port here and there's Thunderbolt, so I could... Do an eGPU like Tony wants me to do. Um, it's so light. It's only 2.6 pounds for a 15 inch. You're going to have a hard time finding something that light 
for this kind of uh, setup for this price. So it's really kind of a winner there. The color's growing on me. Anyway, I'll make a pros and cons video anyhow. That's so uh, there we go. That's how you set it up. Now we got 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, whenever I buy some more storage, I'll make another video about updating the storage. All right. Thanks for uh, lovely. Thanks for checking.